Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. In today's video, I have a super cute project for you using a couple of our celebration items. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown um, about celebration in case you're new here and don't understand what it is. Um, January, February, March, Stampin' Up! has a promotion called Celebration. And what that means is you can earn free products out of this little catalog here for your $50 and $100 purchases. There are, at the moment, 12 items you can choose for free, a number of stamp sets, some packages of paper, and an embellishment kit along with a card kit. So uh, we've got a cute little stamp set here. We've got a set of dies that coordinate with this stamp set here. And you'll notice that there are different colored circles here showing you what product you can earn for what price point that you purchase. So this die set here would be free with a $100 purchase. The coordinating stamp set would be free with a $50 purchase. So if you purchase $150, you'll get your $150 in merchandise. You'll get your two free items here if this is what you chose. Plus you'd get $15 of free merchandise. So you can always do that. There are uh, some gorgeous designer series papers, a cute little embellishment kit. Here is an adorable little card kit. We have a birthday cake stamp set. We have the Golden Honey Designer Series paper that has gold accents in it. We have a stamp set with a bunch of sentiments. Here we have the Thoughtful Blooms uh, stamp set with the Small Bloom Punch, which is what I'm going to be using today. And these are, you can notice that the punch is free with the $100 purchase, stamp set free with the $50 purchase. So to get both of these free, you would place a $150 order or a $100 order now, $50 order later, however you wanted to work it out. Then we have this package here, this stamp set with the coordinating embossing folder. This is also a $100 purchase item, bug stamp set. So that is celebration. Whoops, I forgot to talk about if you join Stampin' Up! right now with me, you can join for only $99. That's $99 out of your pocket plus tax if you live in a state that has tax. And then what you will get for free when you join Stampin' Up! is you'll get $125 worth of merchandise, your choice. Anything you want to choose out of any of our catalogs, you will also get this adorable little mini paper trimmer free. You will get an any price stamp set free, not celebration and not hostess, but any other stamp set in our catalog, you can choose that for free. You also get a free designer series paper sampler. This has designer series papers from um, our occasions catalog. We have some papers from our celebration brochure right here. And so you just get a nice sampling of our designer series paper. So that is the best deal Stampin' Up! has going on right now. $99 gets you all that stuff for free. So on to the next thing I want to talk about is our coordination product release. This is coming out February 4th. And you'll notice it is a, some, some die sets that coordinate with some of our um, stamp sets in the catalog. We have the Nature's Thoughts dies here. We have the Ladybugs dies that, of course, coordinate with the Ladybug stamp set. Special day dies, sending flower dies, which you can make adorable shaker cards. And then we also have the birthday dies, which you will notice coordinates with the birthday cake set that I just showed you. And then we have this super cute designer series paper that's called Pleased as Punch. And that coordinates with some of our current. You can see we have the little flowers here that you can crop out with that punch. Uh, umbrellas with our umbrella punch. Hearts with our heart punch. And then the papers, and then we have the fun little designs on the back. So we've got a lot of good things coming down the pipe, so let's get on to the card. All right, so today's card, I'm going to be using the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set along with the Small Blooms Punch, which are celebration items that you can choose for free with your orders. Um, I'm going to be using a strip of designer series paper from our Best Dressed designer series paper package. And you can see we have a lot of fun, girly-ish designs and patterns here in this package. These are six by six pieces. And look at those gorgeous florals. Oh, my heavens. So this is another designer series paper pack that is in our occasions catalog. And I chose this little fun strip here. I also have a pair of purple posy as my card base, a white layer for the inside. I have a one and a half by five and a quarter inch um, piece of lovely lipstick. And I can't remember this one. I know it's five and a quarter two and a half. So we've got a two and a half and a one and a half and they both are five and a quarter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece over to my die cutting machine and I'm going to run it through with my so scripty folder and I'll be right back. 
All right, here we go. So you can see this has that nice script pattern of words in there. So fun. All right, so I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna stamp a background on it. So I'm gonna bring in a scrap paper here. So I'm gonna be using the uh, little uh, leafy image here from the stamp set. So the leaf, this is one solid image and then you can add little flowers around it. But we're just gonna do it as kind of a background um, design. So I'm just gonna ink this up in my petal pink ink. And then I'm just gonna stamp it kind of randomly on this piece here. Just to give our paper just a little bit of fun, a little bit of interest. And maybe a peach right there and a bit right there. Okay, so there's what we have on that piece. So then these two pieces I'm going to butt together. So you can see I've already actually, I was practicing. So I do have uh, stamped images on both sides. And I'm just going to tape them together with some scotch tape. This is going to make them easier to use. Okay, oh, I have a little excess here. So I'm going to bring in my handy dandy desk trimmer. I keep this trimmer on my desk at all times. It is the perfect size to keep on your desk. It doesn't take up any room at all. All right, so we're going to bring in our layer of Purple Posy. And I'm going to add some, whoops, I've got a little glue booger there. Add some glue to the back of this, and especially when I have an embossed layer of cardstock, I definitely like to use liquid glue for that. Okay, so let's get that centered on here. Okay, while we're at it, we might as well just glue this to the inside of the card. That lined up on our center. Okay, and then I have a one by, I think it's three inches. Is it three inches? Whoop, it's a one by four. And I'm gonna do a little cheating here. I'm gonna cut this um, at about two. Let's see, here's the three inch line. So I'm gonna go about two and seven eighths. Is what I'm going to cut that off at. And then I am going to attach these to the edges of my paper here. So I'm going to like center this. So you can see I've got that centered between the two pieces. I'm going to do the same thing with this little guy here on the other end. Center that. And this is a way to kind of save a little bit of paper. Okay, so I've got a bunch of scraps here. First one, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment on. My sentiment does come from the stamp set. And it says, I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. So we'll just go ahead and ink that up. And then we'll stamp that on a scrap of white. I've got my two inch circle punch here and I'm going to crop that out. I'm trying to center it. There we go. And then the next thing, I'm gonna add this to the card with some dimensionals. Oh, I happened to grab them. Oh, I don't know where my big ones are. I think they're over on my other table as I was using them yesterday because I was making some cards. So let's get the paper backings off these little guys. Okay. Get that centered on here. And see, it looks like we didn't even have that gap in the paper. I love little cheating tricks like that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in this little solid flower and we're going to stamp on the scraps here. So we have that done in the lovely lipstick. I'm gonna bring my stamp a chamois in here. Next, I've got some petal pink. up and we'll stamp that right down here on our scrap of petal pink and then I'm going to use a Stampin' Right marker as my purple posy as you know our purple posy ink pad was discontinued due to some quality issues 
So I'm just going to take my purple posy marker and I'm just gonna like whip out from the center of the petals here and just ink those up. And I'm gonna go across or around it a couple of times just to make sure I get it, I get everything nice and inky. I think that's good. And I'm going to huff on it, <sighs> moisten, re-moisten that ink, and then I'm just going to stamp it right there. Okay, so then I'm going to bring in this little kind of star image, this little guy right here from the set, and we're going to add some dimension to two of these flowers. So I'm going to bring in Calypso Coral ink, which is going to coordinate with the Petal Pink, and Highland Heather, which is going to coordinate with my Purple Posy. So I'm going to ink that up, and then I'm just going to drop this down and try to center it. Normally I would get my face in there, but we're going to try to do it without. I think that worked out pretty good. Again, my chamois, clean that off. And then the coral. So then I can bring in my small bloom punch and crop these little guys out. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with this punch. <laughs> I used a scrap. I'm a big believer in using scraps. So you'll see me use scraps a lot in my videos. And our final one on the lovely lipstick. Okay. And then I'm just going to add these to right on the edge there. We'll add that one. We'll add our little purple posy one right here and then our lovely lipstick right there and then I also thought we'd bring in a few rhinestones so I've got a package of rhinestones here we'll go ahead and add a rhinestone to the middle of these flowers bring in my take your pick tool here and I'm going to start with, I think, a medium-sized one on the lovely lipstick. And then we will go small ones on the other two. Just like so. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Then I'm going to open up the inside. And I've got the little tiny thank you that comes in the stamp set. And I thought I would oh, somewhat center this. Let's see. There we go. And then I have this adorable small little flower. And I'm going to add some around there with the petal pink. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And then I'm going to use my marker. So I just clean that off. And we'll ink that up. Give it a huff. And we'll stamp it right there. And then we'll do it again little huff and we'll stamp it right there just so we have a little bit of fun on the inside too when our friend opens that up and that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you do be sure to subscribe to my channel right down here to be notified when I upload new videos and remember all the deals going on right now during celebration we've got free stamps free dies uh, free paper cutters free stacks of paper all that good stuff I would appreciate your business at shoppingwithbarb.com and you can check out my blog at barbstamps.com. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.